there, I'm Fernanda, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you my activewear capsule wardrobe. And a huge thank you to HDE for sponsoring today's video and for providing several of the pieces in this workout capsule. Whenever I put together any capsule wardrobe, I like to think through the activities that I'm gonna to have to live through in these clothes. So in this particular case, I really had to consider my workout routine. These days I'm running three days per week and in the other days I'm doing yoga at home and on occasion I do like to go for a bike ride around the city. So that told me that I needed a couple of high impact sports bras or workout tops so that I could sustain those runs, a couple of low impact ones for the yoga and a bunch of different things that would accommodate the weather no matter what was happening, raining or cold or whatever it was. Leave me a comment below and let me know what does your current workout routine look like. As I mentioned, the first thing I really needed was a high impact sports bra so that I could go on runs. And I do have this one in my wardrobe, which I've had in my closet for several years now. And it's actually wearing down a little bit now and it doesn't have as much support as I would like to, but I'm looking to replace it. By the way, if you know of a brand of sports bra that has worked really well for you for runs, please drop us in the comments below because I desperately need them. I don't have a color palette for my workout capsule. I mostly stick to neutrals and this is one of the brightest items that I have, but I still like that it's like a little bit of black and a little bit of color so that it works with my wardrobe. Now, I don't usually like to go out and run into the world with just a sports bra. Like that's just not something that I'm comfortable with. So I usually wear something over it. And I do have this workout top, which has an extra built-in bra in it, which I've also had for a long time. And what I love about this is that this on its own is a low impact support that I can wear for just yoga with any bottom. But if I layer it over the bra, then it is a great running top that I can wear that keeps me comfortable and allows me to move. I also have an additional cover up tank. This one has no support, but it does have some ventilation in the back for those runs which I personally really like. And it's a little bit more high necked than the other tank top because I also just prefer to have something a little bit higher than a low cut top whenever I'm running out on the streets by myself. And this is also pretty good because even if I go to a yoga class or something like that where it's gonna be really hot and I just wanna be in the bra inside the studio, then when I come out, I can throw something like this over it and be covered up and feel comfortable walking around. And lastly for tops, I do have this low impact uh, crop top. It's actually a sports bra, so this on its own I can wear to do yoga, go to a yoga studio, and I don't need anything else underneath it. It is cropped, which I don't normally wear, but it works for what it is. And the reason why I got it in this color is because it matches a pair of leggings that I own. And even though I prefer neutrals for my workout capsule, I did want to have like a little bit of pops of color here and there for those days when I'm feeling like I need the extra boost of motivation. So for something like this that is in my everyday capsule wardrobe, I don't tend to stick to the capsule wardrobe formula so much because the truth is that I don't need as many outfit combinations as I would for my everyday wear because most of the time I'm at home, so if I repeat an outfit, who cares? And like I'm only wearing them for like between 30 to 45 minutes every day, so it doesn't really matter. So in this case, you will see a lot of similarities to the regular capsule wardrobe formula, but if it doesn't work for you, if you're working out less or if you have different activities, don't worry about it. The point of this is that you think more so in modules. So for example, I have the running module, which is like all of the high impact stuff that I can wear, and then the yoga module, all of the low impact stuff that I can wear to like either a yoga studio or a bike ride or something like that. So this is another way of starting to build your capsule wardrobes. If you wanna see a video, ugh, if you wanna see a video on modules, leave me a comment below. Moving on to bottoms. First up, I have just a regular pair of leggings. I like these leggings. These are from HDE, by the way, because they're high-waisted, which I personally really like. Like, I don't like leggings that fall below my belly button because I feel like that doesn't flatter my body very well. But something like this is great because I can wear them on a run whenever it's cold. I can obviously wear them to yoga because I can move around in them a lot. They have pockets, which is very nice. And the material is super, super stretchy. I have never owned a printed pair of leggings like this before, but I'm really liking the colors. So this is a really fun addition to my wardrobe. Next, I do have a more traditional pair of classic yoga pants. These are just 
super soft and stretchy material. They are not gathered at the ankle. And these are more like the traditional, original type of yoga clothing that originally came out. I love these. These are super comfortable and I wear them not only to like do mild stretches every day because I feel like that helps a lot with mobility, at least for me, but these are so comfortable. They have become the piece that I go to whenever I'm just around the house lounging because they look super chic. They're very put together and stylish. They don't attract an insane amount of dog hair, which is just like the bane of my existence and they look really nice. So these, I highly recommend, I love them. I believe they come in two different colors. I might get the second color actually because it's pretty good. And this just folds over if you want to so that you have a little bit of a pop of color. But if not, you can just cover it with the top and nobody would even see it. But so far, all of my bottoms have me covered for plenty of yoga. But when it comes to running, if it's really hot out, I usually prefer to run in shorts. So HDE did send me this pair of retro running shorts which are in my color palette. And I think they're so cute. This little detail makes them look super retro and they do come with a bunch of, in a bunch of other different styles. Like there's a rainbow one that I really liked. Um, but they're very comfortable and they hit me at the exact right length so that I can move around with ease. And they're pretty tight around my hips without being uncomfortable. So these have been a great addition to my wardrobe. These don't have pockets, but I actually have a hack to work around garments, workout garments that don't have pockets, which I will show you in a minute. And lastly, I do like to have in my workout capsule a pair of tighter fitting or like trimmed kind of leggings. So these are just workout shorts. They hit me like right underneath my uh, crotch area. So they're pretty short and they're very tight. I don't feel super comfortable running around in these shorts for the most part. But before the pandemic, I did used to go to hot yoga every so often. And for something like that, wearing a pair of leggings is just like horrible to me. Like it just feels like I want to die in the hot sauna. So I prefer to wear something like this with just a workout top or a sports bra. So HDE did send me this one, which I loved because I thought the pattern was super fun. And the color is subtle enough that you can pair with purple or pink or white and it's not going to compete with anything else. So these are a new addition to my workout capsule and I've been really enjoying them so far. So, so far we have four tops and four bottoms, which is great because I'm perfectly covered for both of the activities that are my main workouts from week to week. And what I really like about this capsule is that even though it is mostly neutrals because it does have a lot of black, it still has enough combinations that I can put together with only these eight pieces. All of the bottoms work with all of the tops. So, so far we're looking pretty good. Moving on to layers. Layers in workout stuff was not one of those things that I had ever needed before because I had never, one, been a regular exerciser and two, I was never an outside exerciser. Like I usually go to a yoga studio or a dance class or something like that. But since I started running, I actually have the need for workout layers. So far, I only have one, which has been in my wardrobe for a really long time and that I frankly need to wash because it just feels like it's a little not properly white right now. But it's just a regular workout uh, jacket that I can throw over any of the workout bras or the tops so that it keeps me a little bit warmer as the winter starts to come and the runs start to get a little bit chillier. And here's another part where if you have any workout tops, layers, long sleeve shirts, anything like that that you really like, please drop them in the comments below because I'm gonna need them sooner than I realize and I need to be prepared because I don't wanna lose my habit. One more thing I wanna say is that the advantage of this being in a neutral is that it will work with whatever I pair it with. Like it will work with any of the bottoms and it will work over any of the tops because it will just be a layer. So this is the advantage of not having it be in a bright like neon colors. I know that a lot of workout clothes come in a lot of very bright colors, but that makes it really difficult to mix and match and create different outfits with all of the pieces that you have. This next piece is new to my workout capsule wardrobe and I was surprised when HDE sent it to me because I've never had something like this or worked out in something like this before and I was so surprised how much I like it. But they sent me this workout dress which is basically like a unitard right underneath it. It has shorts and then a skirt over it that you just like slip on. But 
I was surprised how much I enjoyed wearing something like this because I always thought that workout dresses were kind of weird because I was like, well, everybody's going to be able to see your underwear. Like, why would you want to work out in a short skirt? But something like this is super comfortable because instead of having to wear a bunch of different things, you just put one thing on. It has pockets in the shorts, which is like incredible and it looks so polished and so cute like i've worn it for bike rides and it just looks like you're wearing a dress you hop off the bike and you're wearing like clothes that you can move in but then if you go to brunch or like you have to run an errand it just looks like you're wearing a cute little sundress which has been incredible a great addition to my wardrobe and you can tell that this is new and that this is not because look at the difference of whites like that jacket it's practically beige. It really needs to be like bleached. Though I try to not use bleach on my clothes for obvious reasons, I would like it to be actually white. Moving on to shoes. Based on my activities, I don't need a lot of workout shoes because I do yoga barefoot, obviously, and then I just need running shoes. So I do have one pair of running shoes, which I also wear for cycling and for hiking or anything like that that I wanna engage in and very me, they're neutral with a pop of color so that I would match any outfit because yes, I do wanna be that person that matches even when they're wearing workout clothes, so I specifically pick them in a neutral. And these I've had for a while. I actually think that I'm gonna to need to retire them soon because I'm wearing out the sole a little bit, but these are my running shoes and the only shoes as part of my capsule wardrobe. And obviously different activities and workout routines are going to require different shoes. But when you're creating your own workout capsule, make sure that you take into account all of the activities. Like if you're taking a dance class or a bar class or whatever it is, maybe you're a rock climber, who knows? Make sure that you include that footwear into your capsule. And lastly, I do want to show you an item that even though it's not an article of clothing, I consider an essential piece of my activewear capsule wardrobe, which is this flip belt. As I mentioned, a lot of bottoms don't come with pockets. And when I started running, I was running out with my phone in my hand, which was just incredibly impractical. And I've always found these crazy hacks to bring my keys so that they wouldn't have to be in my hands. Not only was it not practical because I had something in my hand the entire time, but it could have also been really dangerous. Like if I were to trip or something like that, then I could have just lost my phone in an instant. I went online and I found this thing. It's called a flip belt. And let me show you how it works. So you wear it around your waist, something like this, and it has pockets all around. In this case, it has four different pockets where you can slip your phone, your keys. It even has like a little bit of a key hook that I just put my key ring into it and then tuck it into the pocket. And then if you want, you can flip it towards your body so that all of the pockets are facing you, which frankly, I've never had to do because this thing is so snug and fits everything so snugly that once it's in there, it's in there and it doesn't move. So I've been wearing this even when I'm wearing a bottom that has pockets because I actually find it much more comfortable to have everything in one place tucked under my shirt than having my, leg my phone in my leggings and then my keys in a different place, which is usually here. So I wear it basically every time I go out on a run. And it's incredible, they even make like little water bottles that fit exactly in creepy and it's incredible they even make little workout bottles that fit perfectly into the belt so that if you're going on a long run you can hydrate as you're running so this has been incredible i did pick it in a neutral color because again i miss neutral over here but it comes in a ton of different colors and this would also be great for travel like if you're ever traveling somewhere where you know it's maybe not the safest you can wear something like this under your shirt and who's gonna know under Excuse me. This is a great addition and an essential in my workout capsule and I will also leave this link for you in the description box below. So there you have it. This is my current athletic capsule wardrobe. I hope you like it and that you enjoyed seeing a few of the outfits that can be put together with this capsule. If you do want to see all of the outfits that can be put together, then make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up so that you can let HDE know that you're interested in seeing that and maybe they can sponsor me again in the future. And if you're into capsule wardrobes and you haven't seen my current everyday wear fall capsule wardrobe, I highly recommend you check that out next. I will leave it linked for you over here. 
And as always, thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you next Thursday at 11 a.m. Eastern.